graffiti. We've all seen it. Uh, we have it right outside of our office and we're gonna try to get rid of it today. I'm Mary Webb from Preserve Montana. Here's a couple products that we're gonna use today. Uh, we have citrus strip and we have elephant snot. Uh, this is citrus strip. It's a paint stripping gel. I've used it on past projects before, uh, stripping paint off of windows and such. Never used it on graffiti before, so we'll give it a try. And we also have elephant snot that is specifically marketed towards graffiti removal. All right, first we're gonna try the elephant snot on half of this. Uh, it says to use between 24 degrees and 90 degrees, which we're in, we're right about freezing. Um, and all you have to do is just brush it on. This is also specifically good for porous surfaces, uh, masonry surfaces. It says it's good in freezing temperatures, which is just about the July weather we're having right now in Montana. Right, now I'm gonna use the citrus strip for this other side of the graffiti here. Uh, this is definitely made for warmer temperatures, but we're going to try it and see what happens today. All right, we're back here after about an hour of letting this sit and I'm just gonna scrub it a little bit. I don't think you necessarily have to, but it might help a little bit. Uh, the directions do recommend using a pressure washer with uh, hot water for this, but we don't have a pressure washer right now, so a spray bottle will do in a pinch, uh, and we did fill it with hot water, so. All right, now I'm gonna spray it down. Uh, it doesn't look like too much happened, but we'll see what happens after I spray it with water. Well, I would have expected this to work a little bit better, um, but it might be a little bit the temperature. It might be the sprayer. You can see in sp some spots it has worked really well. Other spots, not so much. I think all I did really was make a mess. Okay, well, we were skeptical at first, but after about a half an hour of scrubbing with a brush and throwing water at the wall, it actually did pretty well. The elephant snot, um, you can't really see any of the graffiti anymore. And then the citrus strip, it didn't take it all off completely, but it's definitely lighter and less noticeable. All right, we're back here with the graffiti that we started cleaning yesterday. Uh, and it looks a lot better than it did yesterday. Uh, over here we had the elephant snot, and over here we had the citrus strip. There's still a little bit of shadows remaining on here, um, along with a little discoloration. And we'll see if that's just some residue that's not quite uh, cleaned off. So we're going to try another product today. This uh, is by the same company that put out the elephant snot. This is called Shadow Max. And this is just in case you have some shadows left over after you go the first round with the elephant snot. Uh, so we're going to try this over here on what we tried to clean off with the citrus strip yesterday. All right, so now we're just gonna let it sit for a little while. The instructions say about 15 to 20 minutes, but since it's cold outside um, and we don't have the pressure washer, we're gonna let it sit for a little longer. All right, we're back out here to spray down the graffiti and see what happens. We've let it sit on here about double what they recommend because of the temperature and the fact that we're using this sprayer instead of a power washer. So we'll see what happens.
our graffiti is pretty much gone. All three of the products work pretty well. Um, and we have a nice clean wall now. So you just want to match your the product that you're using for removal to whatever surface your graffiti is on, whether it's porous, like masonry, or whether your graffiti is on wood. Just make sure that whatever product you're using is rated for that surface. Thanks for joining us with Preserve Montana, and good luck with your graffiti removal projects.